like I always say, if you like my videos, please subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm going to try to do a lot more projects uh, this year. I got a lot of new stuff coming up. Okay, stop the music. All right. All right, what is up, guys? Ivan from BrainBus.com. I've been gone for a while, and you probably know why, of course. And also, I moved, so I had to redo my whole setup here. Uh, but I'm almost done, and I'm very happy to be back with you guys and doing a video, finally. Uh, today is going to be a quick video. It's about a new ultrasonic sensor that I found because I have a project going on and I needed something different. And it might be uh, useful for uh, different projects. So let's have a look at it and then we'll code something really quick to make it work. And we'll see how it uh, compares to the one that we all know and love. So let's go check that out. All right, so here's the sensor we're all used to, the HCSR04. Uh, these guys are very cheap, they're easy to find. Uh, I actually done a tutorial on this guy a long time ago. You can check it out here if you want. Uh, so this one we're used to. Now here's the new one, and as you can see, four pins, but there's no sensor on this board because there's a connector here that you can connect the sensor itself right there to the board and locate the sensor far away from your project which might be very useful now also if you notice there's only one of these when on the old board there's two it's because they're all integrated inside this waterproof case that i didn't test i don't know if it's really waterproof but i would guess that it's fairly safe to put it out in the rain without dunking it in water so also, it comes with a 2.5 meter uh, cord attached to the sensor, so you can really locate this guy far away from your project. So that's a big plus for me. Um, now, if we look at the boards themselves, the connections, they actually share the same connection pattern. So first pin on this one is 5 volt, same on this one. Trigger, echo, ground, same on this one. So if you have a project, technically you could take this one out and plug in this one, and it should work. But it's not all good. This is fairly new and I've heard from other people that the quality control on these boards is not great. Uh, some people would buy one and it would flat out not work. Uh, I ordered two of these and these both seem to work except one of them gives me zero distance sometimes, which is uh, okay for my project because I can read those out. Uh, but keep that in mind. And like I said in another video right here, if you order parts for your project, if you can, order two so that way if you receive one that's effective you can send it back but you can still keep going on your project right away now for price these guys have been around for a long time so they're very cheap right now you can probably get one for three bucks these are fairly new and the best price i found on amazon in canada was 18 dollars canadian uh, but you got a coupon for three bucks so 15 bucks canadian for this guy it's not too bad when you consider that you're getting a 2.5 meter cord attached to it with the sensor that is waterproof. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna write a simple code just to get readings from this guy. I'm using an Arduino Nano right here. So the code is gonna be very simple. And in the next video, I'm gonna do an actual project using this sensor. And I'll probably start using libraries uh, to uh, communicate with it. But right now, we'll just write some simple code, get some distance readings and stuff like that. Now, one thing I forgot to mention about this guy compared to the old sensor, this one will only read as low as 20 centimeters. So if you're 20 centimeters away from your sensor right here, it will read 20 centimeters. But if you bring it closer, it will not read lower than that. It will keep spitting out 20 centimeters. So if your project needs very short distances, this is not for you. So it might as well use this one. So right now, let's go check out the simple code we're going to use, and then we'll test it out and see how it behaves. All right, so here's the code we're going to use. It's very simple. I'm not using any libraries yet. In the next video, I might use a library. Uh, by the way, I've been very lazy with my video description, and a lot of people were asking, where do I find the code and all that. So now, in all my descriptions, you will find links to the parts I use. 
There are going to be uh, affiliate uh, Amazon links and link to the full tutorial as well. So you can download the code, see the schematic and stuff like that. And you can check all that out at brainybits.com. All right, so here's the code. Defining the pins at the beginning, the echo pin. So the 10, uh, the 10 pin of the Nano is connected to the echo pin and the nine pin of the Nano is connected to the trigger pin. And then the five volts and the ground of the Nano is connected to the pins here. Uh, then we start the serial uh, monitor. That's how we're going to monitor the uh, output of the sensor. Uh, here, the pin mode, I set to input pull up because it seemed that this module uh, is a little flaky sometimes, but when I put input pull up in the pin mode of the echo pin, it seemed to uh, resolve most of the problem. Uh, so input pull up here, the trigger pin is an output. That's the one that actually sends the ping out. And we're writing the echo pin to high at the beginning. Then we get to the main loop. So digital write of the trigger pin to low to turn it off. Then we wait two microsecond, and then we write to the trigger pin high to send the ping out for 15 microsecond and turn it off again. And then we have this formula here. Distance is equal to pulse in of the echo pin. So the echo pin will receive the, the, the ping back. Uh, we set it to high and the distance is equal to distance divided by 58. Uh, then we're on the serial monitor. We will print the distance and centimeters and wait for 50 millisecond until we redo another ping and read this value again. So there you go, that's the code. I'm gonna upload it to the Nano right now and let's see how this new sensor behaves. All right, so the code is uploaded to the Nano, it's getting power and the little sensor board shows a red light meaning it's also getting power and here's my sensor. Now I have a tape measure here, it starts at 40 centimeters all the way to the end. So what I'm going to do right now, if you look at the serial monitor, it says 283 to 84. So I'm going to put a box, let's say at uh, 10, 30, at 35, right here. And it reads 34. That's not too bad, actually. So let me go to 30. Reads 29. Am I at 30? Uh, that's pretty much 30. 29. Uh, let me go 25. There we go. 23. Maybe here. Yeah. And let me go all the way up to 20. And as you can see, it doesn't really go lower than 21, 22. And if I start going further, then it starts going up. But if I go down, 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 it doesn't really matter. It's kind of stuck at 21. So the maximum for this one that I have seems to be 21. So if I go back to, let's say, 30 right here, and it works. And if I go back all the way to here to the end 39 which is pretty good i don't know if you saw that on the serial monitor there was a zero here there's another one so sometimes the sensor seems to be sending zeros but that's pretty easy to fix in code you just ignore those or work around it so when i do my project later on i'm going to code with that in mind uh, so there you go guys it seems to work the fact that the sensor is outside of the board itself is very practical uh, I need to do more testing, but like I told you, the quality control on these seems to be a little flaky right now. Uh, but I'm going to keep testing and trying uh, different uh, libraries as well. So in the next video, I'll let you know what I found out and how it behaved with libraries and if I needed to change anything at all. So that'll do it. So let's go to the main camera and wrap things up. All right, so that'll do for today, guys. Uh, like I said in my last video in January, I had a lot of stuff that I wanted to do this year. Uh, I'm gonna try to ramp it up. Of course, it's summer. Uh, in the summer, I have a lot of stuff to do, but uh, I have this new project that that's gonna use this new sensor that we just saw today. Like I always say, if you like my videos, please subscribe and all that cool stuff. I'm really glad to be back. Hope you guys are doing well. And like I always say, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.